In a previous video, I created a landing page and edited its form by adding some fields or controls to it. So now I'm happy with the content of the landing page, but I just don't like the way it looks. In this video, I want to show you how to design a skin for a landing page so that it projects the branding that you want. Right now I'm looking at the details of my form. So what I need to do is go to my actions menu on the right and click save and return. And this will take me back to the workflow view of my landing page. Now in order to design a skin, I need to leave the landing pages area and go to the templates area of Act Marketing Automation. From here, I'm going to go to my actions menu and I'm going to select new template. This is going to load a lot of choices here for creating email templates. And since I'm interested in a skin for my landing page, I don't want any of these email templates. I should locate and choose blank landing page and then click continue. Now, since this template is going to be a skin for one of my landing pages, I want to make sure I include that in its name. That's going to help me find it again later. So I'll probably name it skin monthly newsletter sign up. The type and editor have already been determined as landing page and drag and drop. So all I need to do at this point is just click save. Now this opens a blank template and I can begin adding structure, rows, and content items into this template. I'm not going to cover template design in this video because I've already covered that extensively in the templates section of the video library. So instead, I'm going to just import a skin that I created previously. I'll go to my actions menu and I'm going to choose import my templates. In here, I'm going to find the template, which is called skin cloud Walker newsletter and click import. Okay. This is the skin I created earlier. So what I want to do now is just quickly change the text where it says title. I'm going to change that to monthly newsletter sign up. I should also insert some instructions here since I put a placeholder for it in the form. I'm just going to enter some generic stuff. Fill out this form to receive our newsletter each month. And now the most important thing is that we need to put a placeholder here so that the template knows where to insert the landing page form. To do this, I'm going to delete this entire line of text. Then while still using the text editor, I'm going to go to my merge tags button, click that, and then click form. You can see here that a tag has been added to this template. It just says form and it knows to insert my newsletter form right here. And that's all we need to do. So I'm going to click my save button. And next we need to publish this skin so that the landing page can see it. If you skip this step, then you'll never see this skin in the drop down list on the landing page property screen. So from the actions menu again, I'm going to click publish. It asks me if I'm sure I want to publish and I'm going to say yes, publish this. And I get a confirmation saying that the template has been successfully published. So now let's go to my actions menu and click return. Now all I need to do is add this new skin to the landing page that I created earlier. So I'll go back to my landing pages and I'm going to open my monthly newsletter sign up landing page. Next I'll go to my actions menu and what I want to do here is edit the page properties. Now I need to locate a drop down list that says select skin. If I scroll down, I can see it's all the way at the bottom and right now it's assigned to a default skin. But since I've published my new monthly newsletter signup skin, it should appear in the list. I will select that and I'm going to go to my actions menu and click save. At this point, let's take a look at a quick preview of our form. When I click this link, a new tab will open in my browser window and here's my landing page complete with my custom skin. If everything looks okay, I can close this tab go to actions and return. So now my landing page is ready for visitors to visit and then submit the form to me. In the next video, I want to show you how to add those visitors to a marketing campaign after they submit the form on my landing page.